Hey, happy Friday to you. We have reached the end of the work week. And I am so glad that you are spending this time with me for a Friday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And as we like to remind our friends from time to time, if there is somebody that you care about that you think could benefit from one of these five minutes uh, recordings, one of these five minutes sessions, uh, I I encourage you, share the link with them, maybe tag them on whatever Facebook presence you're watching this on, uh, or share it in their um, on their timeline, however you do it, however you do it. I really want to encourage you, just get the word out and share with your friends. And again, uh, I'm not trying to get famous with this whole thing, <laughs> not at all. Uh, we just want to help people. So... If we can help somebody that you care about, awesome. I think that'd be great. Now, let's wrap up this little series that we've done this entire week. We've been camping out on Genesis chapter 17, verses 1 and 2. And we're looking at the call that God has given Abraham, who was called Abram at the time. And we've been unpacking different parts of that call and trying to apply that to our lives. Let's do it again one more time today with our Friday edition of this series. Take a look at the screen, Genesis 17, verses 1 and 2. It says, When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you. And here's the part that I underlined, the very end. And will greatly increase your numbers. I will greatly increase your numbers. Now, um, I, I, I want to point out that I do not believe that God is a get-rich-quick God, okay? And, and uh, 20th and 21st century um, television ministries have really gone overboard with that kind of mentality. And I, I don't think that that is accurate at all in the scriptures, not at all. So I'm not here to tell you that if you do everything right, God's going to make you rich. Okay, not at all. So if, if you're looking for that speech, you may want to just uh, leave now. But stick around because I got about two minutes left here. Uh, I, I want to let you know on the flip side, that there is a blessing that comes with obeying God and doing things his way. Uh, I believe that if we're faithful to God, he will be faithful to us. And in Abraham's cases, uh, case, he said that he was going to increase Abraham's numbers. Literally, he was going to see his offspring just explode for generations and generations and become the Jewish people in, in the state of Israel. For us, I believe that God says, you know what, I, I will give you blessing. I will bless your faithfulness to me. I will bless your faithfulness to me. God sees your faithfulness to him. He really does. And I believe God honors it. Uh, maybe, maybe what you've done and maybe what you've given and maybe what you have been devoting yourself to hasn't been seen by a lot of people. In fact, maybe it's been ridiculed by some people. But I want you to know that there is a God who sees you and he is very proud of you and he accepts what you have given to him. He accepts your devotion to him. He accepts your faithfulness to him and he wants to bless you for that. And I believe that answered prayer comes from our faithfulness to him. I believe that unexpected blessings come from God's faithfulness to him. I read that in the scripture, but I've also experienced that in my life as well. And I want that for you as well. I want to encourage you, do things God's way. And the blessing of God follows faithfulness. Maybe I can put it to you this way. Fruitfulness follows faithfulness. If you remain faithful to God, I believe that he will bless you 
in just the way that you need to be blessed. And I hope that you'll carry that with you this entire weekend. All right, my time is up. I pray you have a great weekend. We love you. God bless you. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.